Hello and welcome back to Scam TV. Now imagine you have been scammed out of a large sum of money. The mountain doesn't really matter because any amount is enough to make most people irate. Not only are you devastated financially, but emotionally as well. Two of your main objectives are to get back at the scammer and to get your money back. Two very noble objectives. Unfortunately, since the majority of scammers are operating overseas in places like Ghana and Nigeria in West Africa, it is extremely difficult, if not impossible, to get either the scammer prosecuted or to get your money back. According to the Global Scam Alliance, 66.8% of scam victims do not even try to get their money back. Many view it as, a, as an impossibility or just don't know where to go to get their money back, which makes this another opportunity for scammers. I am addressing this topic because I recently came across a website that's made some very questionable promises about getting scam victims their money back. The front page of this website proudly pro proclaims, in quotes, fell for a broker scam, question mark. Let's get your funds recovered, close quote. Now, this website is professional looking enough and says that we aid you, we guide you, and we get your money back. I immediately thought, scam, how could they possibly do this? They must have a scammer special forces unit. Now it is here where we find the worst of the worst scammers. These are the scammers that target people who have already lost money to a scam. If you've been scammed, you may be targeted by a refund or recovery scam. In the scam, someone says they can help get your money back or recover the prize or item you never got. But you need to pay them first. If you do, you'll lose that money. Whether it's a refund scam promising you to get your money back or a recovery scam claiming to get you the prize or products you were promised, the scheme usually follows a set pattern. So here's how it happens. Unfortunately, you've already been scammed. You may have given money to a phony charity, paid for a fake prize, or lost money to one of the many other ways scammers try to cheat you. Your name is on what scammers call a suckers list. Scammers keep and sell lists with information about people who have already lost money to fraud. It can include your name, address, phone number, the kind of scam that tricked you, and how much money you paid. Scammers buy, sell, and trade these lists, expecting that people who have been scammed once are good targets for being scammed again. Scammers come calling again using a list of people who've already paid money to a scam. The scammer can contact you by phone, mail, or online. The pitch this time is that they'll get back the money you lost or the prize or merchandise you never got. If you don't know you were scammed, no problem. The scammer using the information they bought can hopefully tell you about the earlier fraud. This information helps the scammer sound credible. They make you think you can trust them. The scammers may say they're with a government agency, a consumer advocacy group, a law firm, a charity, or even some other organization. Some even say they're with a fake company that took your money and they're offering refunds to, a, to you, a dissatisfied customer. They may say they're holding money for you, offer to file a complaint paperwork with government agencies on your behalf, or claim they can get your name at the top of a list for reimbursement. Whatever they say, it's a line to, to gain your trust and more of your money. You're told you need to pay. 
the scammers promise to recover your money or merchandise, but they need you to pay them or give them financial information first. They may call the upfront money a retainer fee, a processing fee, administrative charge, tax, shipment and handling charge, or even to a donation to a charity they name. Or they may say that you're, they need your checking, debit, or other financial account numbers so they can deposit a refund directly into your account. If you give them the requested fee or account information, your money will disappear. So here is how to recognize refund and recovery scams. Scammers contact you and ask you for an upfront fee. No matter how someone contacts you by mail, online telephone, or text message, it's never ever a good idea to pay up front, especially when someone contacts you out of the blue. And telemarket is selling recovery services can't ask for or accept payment until seven business days after they deliver the money or item they recovered to you because it's against the law. Scammers say they're from a government agency, nonprofit group, or some other organization and need payment or for you or your personal information. Government agencies and legitimate organizations won't ask for money to help you get a refund. They will never ask for your financial account numbers or personal financial information and will not guarantee that you'll get your money back. Anyone who does this, any of these things, is a scammer. So here's how to avoid refund and recovery scams. Again, don't trust calls, letters, emails, or messages on social media from someone who says they can get or you recover your money you lost in a scam for a fee. You'll just lose more money. Never pay up front for a refund or help with a refund. This means, again, I know I'm repeating myself, but never give your bank account, credit card, or any payment information to a to get a refund. Anyone, any anyone who asks for your financial information or for upfront fees is a scammer. Don't trust calls, letters, emails, or messages on social media from someone who says they can recover money you lost in a scam for a fee. Again, you'll lose more money. Never pay up front for a refund or help with a refund. This means never give your bank account, credit card, or a payment information. Because as I said, Anyone who asks for your financial information or for upfront fees is a scammer. Know that only scammers will tell you to pay by gift card, cryptocurrency, or wire transfers from companies like Western Union or MoneyGram. Anyone who asks you to pay in any of these ways is a scammer. Be suspicious if you get a supposed refund check for more money than you lost. Some scammers will say there was an error and tell you to cash a check keep the amount you're due and return the balance. It can take weeks for a bank to discover that a check it cleared was a fake. In the meantime, if you use the money even to return some to the scammer, the bank will want you to repay that money. Research any organizations or government agencies that contact you. For organizations or companies, search for the name online with words like complaint, scam, or review after their name. Check with your state attorney general, too, to see if other people have complained about the organizations. For government agencies, look up their number on your own. Then call to confirm that they contacted you. Don't call a number that a scammer gave you. Don't trust calls, letters, or emails, or messages on social media for someone who says they can recover money you lost in a scam for a fee. Like I said, you'll lose more money. Again... Never pay up front for a refund or help with a refund. Anyone asks for financial information for upfront fees is a scammer. If you've lost money to a refund or recovery scam or have information about the company or scammer who gave you, who called you, report it to the FTC at reportfraud.ftc.gov or to your state attorney general or the local police. So beware of websites offering scam recovery service. Most likely they're a scam upon another scam. Now, a disclaimer, the website I displayed previously is an example of a scam recovery service. I don't know whether it's a scam website or not, but be careful using any one of these numerous 
website offering their services. Do your due diligence. Check their ratings online. There's probably be tons and tons of ratings and reviews. Anyways, again, thank you for watching. As always, please like, con comment, and subscribe to Scam TV. Let's stay safe out there. Thank you again.